Metas is one of the important concept in Java. If you know, Java is nothing but everything about object, right? And every object has certain classes, certain behavior and data. One example that we have been talking about since in all our videos is human. A human has certain data and behavior. Human has certain age, it has certain name, it has certain behavior, whether a human is sleeping, walking, talking and so on. So in order to understand the behavior of human or in order to understand the behavior of your class, we define method. So let us see what method does. A method is nothing but which allows you to execute a block of statements together to perform an operation and what all it requires is that in order to execute one single method it involves executing n number of operations in the backend to provide you a single output. We can take an example of system.out.println where println is one of the method provided by our IO print stream. So what does this particular method, this particular method does is that it prints the output. Here it does not have any block of statements to execute. So a behavior is not only that you provide like what is to be executed. You need to understand what kind of an output it is trying to provide. So when you execute a print ln statement, this will execute n number of statement and the backend to provide or display this particular output. Then you have n number of methods, how you can declare a method, whether you want a method to return a particular type of value or not, whether in a method you want to provide or define certain local variables or not. So you need to understand a method can return or may not return any value. A method may have certain parameters or may not have parameters. So how you declare a method is nothing but first you provide the access modifier name whether this method will be called or will be visible to any other class or package or not. So you provide public, private and so on. The next is the return type. Here the return type either will be a value if a method is repeating or returning or will it be void. When you say void it means a method is not returning anything and if method is returning any value it will be of that particular type. Then you provide a method name. As per our naming convention you remember that a method should start with a lower case and if a method is named with the help of more than a word then every word starting should be of uppercase. In this n is small o and m is in uppercase followed with the parameter list that is in brackets you provide what are the local variables to that particular method and if this parameter is gonna return or will receive any value in the brackets then you write the block of statement that needs to be executed. So let us see with an example here we have created a class where it says example display method and under the main method we are just trying to display an output and the output can be displayed with the help of print ln method and we write system dot out dot print ln and in the brackets in the inverted commas we write hello. So what it will do is that this method will be called and it display the output called hello. We have written another method called simple method. Under the main method you are trying to call another method and this method we say public which is an access modifier type static void simple method and this method is not returning any value. When it does not return any value it is void. It does not contain any parameters. This is just a simple method to display an output called void. So now when you execute this program it will, uh, it will print an output called hello and then void. So in order to call this method under the met under your main method you just need to provide the method name. So the summary would be here is understanding why do you need method, how can you create method. Let us, we will see in detail what are the complex method, how do you return value, how do you use void keyword in our going forward videos. In this class we shall explain you how to write method. So let us write from scratch. I have created a class, public class, the class name is method1 and open the braces, under that I have created one static void main method. So this is the main method to which Java 
starts executing the block of statement. How do you create another methods? All the methods are to be created under the class. So the class braces is this and the closing one is this. So let us write a method under the class. We create a method, simple method. We will say public static void display. Okay. And this method, how do you write? You will write the access modifier static. In the coming videos, we will learn void which returns no value and display is a method name. You can give any method name that you would want or you can say print message. When you write this, remember the method name, how do we write? The first letter of the method name should be in the lower case and the rest of the words in the method name should be upper case. Okay. So we again open the braces and close the braces. In that we print system dot out dot print ln. We write welcome to tutorials point. And now we would want to display this message. So how do you call this message? As we know every method or every variable or anything that you would want to call will be possible through the main method only. So as soon as you run this program or any Java program, it will first look for the main method and then the data or the block of statements written under this. So how would you do this? Can you call like what is your method name? It is print message. So can you call this? Let us run and execute. So it says welcome to tutorials point. So one way to call the method would be just write the method name with the open and close brackets and then the semicolon.